With the end of first quarter, it's the perfect time for students to reflect on their grades, behavior, attitude, effort, and overall learning here at Chinook. One effective way to do this is through student-led conferences, which is a process where students analyze their performance and then create goals for their future. They then organize the information into a formal presentation that they communicate to the people that care most about them, their parents. We put together a pretend conference for you to assess using the rubric on page two of your planning packet. As you watch this conference, pay attention to the rubric, scoring it as the conference proceeds. At the end of the video, discuss with your conference group what feedback you'd give this student if you were the teacher. Remember students, this is a really powerful learning experience. Have fun with it, don't be too nervous, and just do your best. Gregory. Hey Josh, how you doing? This must be your dad. Mr. German, Nathan Gregory, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Joshua, how you doing buddy? Good. Alright, got your PowerPoint up. Ready to get yourself going on your conference? Yep. Alright, well, let's go. Hey dad, this is my folder. So as I go through all of my PowerPoint, you can follow along with that and if you need any help finding something, just let me know and I'll, I'll show you. So first off, I just want to say thank you dad for coming and listening to my presentation. And the reason for this presentation is that I want to share my first quarter progress, my scores, my detailed reports, and most importantly, my um, personal goals for the rest of the So I just wanted to let you know that I have some work samples in the folder for you to look at. I have my writing assignment that I did for ELA, and I did pretty well on that. I had a math test that I did well, but I messed up on a couple things, but I thought that it was exemplary because um, it was the best grade that I've gotten so far. Um, I have my technology project outside that I showed you earlier because it's a little too big to stick in the folder. But then I have my science lab, which I did really well on. We had a lot of fun with it. Then I had our orchestra concert because uh, assessment because we had our orchestra concert the other day. And then I emailed you my history PowerPoint, and we can look at that, and it's really good. So um, for ELA, my class, um, I got an A minus. Then for geometry, I got a B. I got a C in science because I messed around during class a lot, so I didn't get all of my assignments done. And then I was supposed to go in during lunch, but the cookies were So next I have my behavior goals. And for ELA, um, I'm tardy almost every time. I don't know how, I just am. Um, so my behavior goal is to reduce my tardies. Then for geometry, I don't usually study, so a lot of times I bomb the tests, uh, which made my grade, down, grade go down. Um, so I need to study more. And for science, uh, like you saw, um, C stands for cookies. So I need to go to lunch when I fall behind. I uh, need to go to class during lunch and not eat so many cookies. Um, for orchestra, I mess around a lot because a lot of times it's practicing on your own while we wait for the teacher to do what she's doing. And so I need to practice my songs instead of messing around with the other students. Um, in history, I'm always talking at my table, and Mr. Brooks is always like, be quiet. So I need to not talk. Um, for technology, I need to keep doing what, I'm always, what I've been doing this quarter because I've been really good. Um, I've been listening to Mr. Brager, and I have done all of my projects on time, and uh, my behavior is great. So I'm a great student in that class. So. so Joshua, this is probably a good time to explain to your dad what happens when you get tardy, uh, what the consequence is there. So when you're tardy, you have to, if it's before your lunch, um, then you go to lunch and then you have to go eat in the ISS room, which is in the uh, office, so you don't really get to have a bunch of fun in there. Um, but if you're, it's, if it's after your lunch, then you have to do it the next day. So you get your food, and then you go straight to the ISS room, which is no fun. 
So too many tardies, eventually there's a point where dad's going to be contacted by one of the principals and they're going to let them know that you may be looking at step fours or coming up with a plan on how to get to class on time. Yep. So it looks like you need to get, on, get to class on time. Mm -hmm. That would be a good idea. Now I have my math scores and goals. Um, for reading, this fall I got a 239, which is the 92nd percentile which I'm really happy about because the 50th percentile is average, so I think that I did pretty good. Um, for math, and, oh, and then for my spring goal, um, it's a 241, so I am hoping that I can do it really well so I can learn during the year. Uh, for math, uh, for the fall, I got a 258, which is the 96th percentile, and again, I'm really happy with that score. And then for my spring goal, it's 260, which is high, but I think that I can do it because over the year, I will learn a lot. So. Those are really good math scores. I also noticed in here you have your Smarter Balance scores. So these scores are um, for my math and ELA. I exceeded standard, um, so I got a level four, and I did really well on the so those are really good scores. So the other thing to point out is that you know you need to make sure he's got level three or level four if he graduated high school down the road. Um, I just noticed you just didn't put your um, smart about scores on here with the PowerPoint. So I'm glad your dad caught that so we could get that piece in as well. Next we have our academic goals. So um, I haven't been reading as much. So my goal for ELA is that I will read 20 or more minutes five nights a week on my own. Um, for the entire second quarter. Then for science, I will work on getting it up to an A because it's only at a C. And be, by doing that, I will be turning in every single assignment and any missing work that I've already had. I'll be working with my teacher or in the library um, until I'm caught up with those assignments. Sounds like a great plan. So I just want to thank you one more time for coming to my presentation and I hope you got some good feedback for my different things. Um, I was wondering if you had any questions. You did really well with all of your grades. I still want to follow up on the C in your science class. Is there any way we could do that? Um, you know, let's check the calendar over here. We do have some open times that are available and you guys could just jump in there real quick with that teacher. So let me take you over here and check the calendar on what's free. Looks like you've got 12.30 open, so um, looks like if you wait just a little bit, if you're all right, Joshua could take you over there and you could talk with their science teacher. They have nothing scheduled at that time. That would be a great time for you to check in with that teacher or any other teachers if you had questions. Thank you, Mr. Gregory. Uh, Joshua, you did a great job. Okay, I appreciate that you got everything caught up. You have some great goals. I look forward to seeing that that science grade is caught up, so hopefully that's something that will go good there. But your scores are outstanding. Your goals are outstanding. So well, awesome presentation. Thank you.